well as how to approach and minimize the stress during the process. Part 1 of this series began with a brief discussion of developmental issues to be considered when performing a physical examination of a child. Next, the evaluation process, including looking at the child's general appearance, checking his growth patterns, and taking his vital signs were explained and illustrated. This program will address the remaining portion of the physical examination, including evaluation of the skin, head, eyes, ears, nose, mouth, neck, chest, lungs, heart, and abdomen, as well as the musculoskeletal and neurologic systems. The skin is the largest organ of the body with one eye covered, so each eye can be tested independently. The standard is the Snellen chart, which uses letters that need to be read. For younger children, the capital letter E may be used, where the child has to identify whether the three prongs are younger children. Other charts may use pictures of easily identified objects that diminish in size. If the patient can read line 7 correctly, the mucous membranes should be assessed for moisture, color, and presence of ulcerations. The tongue, hard and soft palates, and uvula should also be examined for lesions or any abnormalities. Finally, the nurse should also listen to the character of heart sounds using the bell of the stethoscope and placing it over five areas of the heart, the aortic area, the pulmonic area, the tricuspid area, the mitral area, and herbs point to detect any abnormalities. S1 is a normal heart sound in children and can be heard at the apex of the left sternal border. It is the lub of the lub-dub sound. S2 is also normal in children and is produced with radiation, quality, and timing. Still's murmur, which is heard after S1, is common in pediatric patients and has a vibratory musical quality. Palpation is another technique used in assessment of the heart. In infants, the brachial and femoral pulses should be evaluated, while the carotid and femoral are used in older children. The nurse should compare these pulses with central pulses for equal quality and rate. The abdomen is divided into four quadrants, the right and left upper and right and left lower areas. Assessment includes inspection, also demands patience, kindness, and a gentle touch to reduce the anxiety of the youngster as well as his family. <laughs>